weekend with my daughter. She seems to know what's going on with me. I mean, she's 10. How couldn't she? Um, yeah, I try and stay grounded for her. She knows I'm different inside now. Ah. But she also knows I'm working on it. So she puts up with me. We had as much fun as we could. Hopefully, we have more fun soon. I already miss her now that she's gone. And now it's only been 10 minutes. Um, I'm doing this video because I want to read a poem that I wrote while I was in jail. Um, it's been fitting for me throughout most of my life, so I'm trying to elaborate on what it means a little bit more after I'm finished reading it, but hopefully I can make it through it because words don't like to come out sometimes. So here it goes. Sorry about it. I'm looking down. Here. In the darkness of my heart, the purest of love had formed, relentless, tenacious. Never have I been so consumed by one sensation left my soul feeble. It rendered my mind weak, but waiting, lurking in the dark pit of, lurking in the dark pit of motion, merciless horror inside, was a specter of a lost, somber past. With blood-stained, thistly teeth and claws like razors, it lingered, biding its time for the perfect moment to strike. Its only goal, to destroy beauty. As its talons sank deeper and deeper into my every dream, its teeth would lacerate, shred, raise, and split all of my emotions, taunting me without remorse, mocking the very love of fantasy. All I could do was watch as remnants of joy dripped from its jowls as it laughed at my tattered soul, my broken shell. Beaten and worn, I quivered with fear, my strength insignificant, all hope dismembered. How could I allow this? How could I watch as every ounce of wonder in my life was slowly devoured by such a meaningless beast, its grip growing ever tighter and more I struggled to break free. Sucking on sadness, licking its long spindly fingers clean of my love, drenching itself in all of my utopia, it grew as a titan, beyond all sensible hope of killing it, standing over my lifeless soul, it snickered and scoffed as the very last drop of who I once was attempted to leave my body. But to see that storm on the horizon, to feel the fierce winds blow through my heart, encouraging me to stand up once more, was more than I could fathom, more than I could ask for. As I strained just to ascend to my knees, I called out for help, but none would answer. I could hear them only in whispers and wishes. I wasn't alone, yet I was on my own. This was the battle to win. This was my battle to win or lose. And given the stakes, losing was not an option. Left alone now, armed with only my memories of the truest of loves, I raised my head and sneered as I leapt on into the fray. The Holocaust ensued and continues to rage on, but I am gaining ground. I feel my strength rushing back into my soul more every day. Like a raging river, I will not be undone. I will not lose. And uh, sorry that I stammered a little bit there in that uh, reading that, but you know, I was looking down the entire time. But to me, that's how I felt. And I mean, if you can understand it, it's more of a, I mean, I'm sure you can understand it, it's just words. But I mean, to me, it's an understanding of this thing that attacked me without my consent. Um, yeah, I'm a little more verbal right now. Uh, it's just, it's early and no, you know, no one's here. So later when I sit on that couch, maybe I'll record again then, but it'll be dark and grainy like the last six times I did it. Oh, excuse me. I am, I am still falling apart and I feel it all the time, but, uh, you know, that demon, I'm trying to rip it out of my body. I want it gone. And I don't know how to do that. It's got such a tight grip on me that my thoughts spinning and spinning and spinning. I mean, how do you how do you rip that out? I mean, if anybody knows, comment, please. I mean, if you guys have advice, um, other people that watch this may, may learn from it too. But I want people to learn from my mistakes. I want them to, you know, I'm going to go through a lot of mistakes in, in, in my journey on this. And... 
damn, I mean, if somebody can just go, hey, I ain't going to do what that dude did, or, hey, that's a great idea, I'm going to try that because it seemed to work for him, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, but just this alone, this video alone, is, it's helping me, I'm not out there, the other night when I lost my damn mind, I, I have swords, <laughs> imagine that, right? I was just going to fucking lay on the sword. Put it right through my neck. <laughs> Why? Who would I hurt? My daughter. My mom. Everybody I love. Everybody that loves me. I'm not saying that they couldn't go on without me. But giving up, it's not an option, man. It's not. I want the easy road. That's why I think that way I think. There is no easy road in life. Life's out to get you. So it's time to go out and get life. You just have to get the upper hand. Now if I can take my own advice, we'll be all set. But five minutes from now when I shut this off, I'm gonna forget everything I said and start thinking about everything else. But try not to that's all we can do right let's try so till then i hope, hope you like the poem and uh try not to break